Hi, thanks for watching my video. You know, like most people at BeamMG, one of the things that everybody likes to do is come onto a website, find an item that you want, download it, take it in the blender, convert it into a DAE, and then move it over to BeamMG. And some of the websites that people use, that I use, would be like CG Trader, Sketchfab, which happens to be my favorite. You just click on downloadable up here and it switches ever you see the little arrows here that means they're all free but you should give the artist credit if you use their items another one is turbo squid well I recently discovered um, Roblox R O B L O X dot com Roblox and you create an account as you can see I have created an account click on creations and then well, first you'll be at your home page like this. Then you click on Creations. And then you click on Launch Studio. And once you do this, there is a huge library of stuff in here that you can convert into a DAE and put it into BeamMG. First thing you want to do is just click on the base plate over here. This is kind of like the basic template. When you launch Blender, you get that cube. Well, here you get this little disk. So we'll come up here and hit select, get rid of that, and we'll just type up something. We'll do skull, enter, click on that. Now, what I was trying to do is go up here and hit file, export, and it was taking this ground plane with it. But if you come over here and right hand click on this and come to the bottom, it says export selection. Click on that. And we'll go to the downloads folder. And you can see I've already done this once. So let's create a new folder. We'll call it Skull 2. We'll go into Skull 2. Create a new name for this. And we'll let that little, let that finish. Shut this down. Launch Blender. Get rid of the light. Get rid of the camera. File. Import. Wavefront, which is OBJ. Downloads. Skull 2. OBJ. It's kind of small, but it's okay. We can scale it up. And uh, once we get into Blender, uh, once we get into BeamMG, we can make it any size we want. If you come over here and click on the middle globe, which is Viewport Shading, it'll put the material on it. Highlight your skull. File. Export. Downloads. You can create a new folder if you want, or you can put it right inside that same folder. But we'll just go into that same folder that's got the OBJ in it come down here we'll call it skull2 dot DAE export shut this down all right my computer downloads skull2 so there's the DAE there's the material and there's the OBJ and the material so that's what we need. BeamMG levels. We'll go with the Johnson Valley. Levels, Johnson Valley art. Shapes, Skull 2, drag and drop. Launch BeamMG, and let's go to Johnson Valley. All right, so here we are in Johnson Valley. You can see some other things I've been working on. That's, uh, that's a map from, the, that's the original Grand Theft Auto map. I can't, I think it's called Vice City. And this is, a. <clears throat> I don't know how to explain what this is. It's like a rail system that I created, or am creating. And I want to put vehicles on here. 
and power them up to like Mach 3. I want to see the fastest I've ever been able to get something to go in BeamMG has been Mach 1. This is going to power something to Mach 3. That's my goal, Mach 3. I don't think a vehicle is going to make it because whatever I use will just disintegrate. Like if I did a school bus, the skin would just peel off. So I'm going to do it in two categories, like animated objects, like a bus, a car, and then non-animated things like a bathtub and a ball and stuff like that. So anyways, let's press F11. <clears throat> We're on F11, and let's go to Window, Asset Browser, Art, Shapes, and scroll to, and there it is. There's the DAE, let's see if it works. Oops. Drag it to the desktop. <coughs> you can rescale it. We'll just change this to four, four, four. So, came out pretty good. And if you wanna make it Exit F11. Go to our vehicle. F7. J, F11. Highlight the skull. Visible mesh. Visible mesh. Edit. Rebuild collision. <coughs> Make sure it finishes uh, up here. F11, J. And now you got a solid object. <laughs> so back to <clears throat> ro ro Roblox, Launch Studio. I cannot guarantee that every single item that you do is going to work. I've tried a few things and I have problems with them. <clears throat> but <clears throat> it's worth looking into if, if there's something. And there is a huge selection of some really cool speed bumps. Beautiful speed bumps. I don't think you have to drag. I think you just click on them. And then you can click select and then move. No, not even sure how you move stuff. Is it locked? Collision? You would think that if you click on select and then it says move that you can, I know I'm doing something wrong here because I have never used this. I've only, I just created this count a few hours ago. So I have very little experience with this. That is really cool right there. That is cool. I like that. But as you can see, there's a lot of neat stuff in here. You can even, I typed in roads too. There's a lot of roads in here. Look at that. What an easy way to create a road. Barriers. I wonder what happens if you type in Star Wars. Look at that. Lights. Uh, I can't remember what you call those things. Look at that. What an easy way to get materials into BeamMG. You can put this into Blender. You can animate this easily. And it's pretty good quality too. It's not bad. So anyways, I'll put a link to this website down in the description, all you have to do is create an account, click on Launch Studio, type in whatever you want right here, take it over to Blender, simply convert an OBJ into a DAE, make sure you got your materials and everything should be fine. So thanks for watching, please like and subscribe.